Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about an amazing new website called Comic AI. Now as the name suggests, Comic AI helps you create comic books using AI. Now, if you read comic books growing up, especially Japanese-style anime, then this website is perfect for you. They offer multiple ways of generating comic books where you can start with your own story, visualize your own characters, imagine your own comic-style design, and then download your own comic works. They are also the kind sponsors of this video, and I'm going to show you all the different features Comic AI has to offer. Alright, let's get started. Now currently they're still invitation only, but the invitation code is available in multiple places. The first way is to go to their Twitter account, or maybe I should say X account, and grab the invitation code right on their profile, or you can go to their Discord account and join this channel called Get Invitation Code. Here they have an invitation code mentioned right here. And after copying the invitation code, all you do is to click this button called Start for Free. That will open up a registration screen where you can use your existing Google account to create a free account with Comic AI and use any of the invitation codes that I just mentioned. You can also switch the language here, but because this is a Japanese themed comics, the only options we have is English, Japanese, and Korean, I think. And after your registration is done, when you click on this button start for free, this is the screen you're gonna see. It also mentions here that this is mostly focused towards anime style designs using the Niji Gen AI art model. So expect your generations to look something like this. To get started, I'm going to go with Create Originals, and here we have two options. The first one is called Story Mode, and the second one is called Free Creativity Mode. In Story Mode, you're expected to have a storyline ready already, so I'm going to click that. Now, I'm not exactly a comic book writer, though I wish I was, so I'm just going to use ChatGPT to generate a small comic strip for me. So I'm going to ask GPT 3.5, create a comic strip about two tourists who discover a hidden treasure in their trip to a Greek island. And I'm going to click enter. Okay, uh, we have a title called Treasure Tales on the Greek Isle. So I'm going to copy that title right here and paste it there. I'm going to have my creator name as myself. And I have panel 1, panel 2, panel 3, panel 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have a bunch of comic strip panels. We have a scene ready that will feed some information to Comic AI. We have two characters. First one is named Alex and the second one is called Sarah. And I'm going to copy this entire story right here and then paste it into Comic AI. And that's pretty much all I have to do to get started in the story mode. After that, I'm going to click Next. Now, if you have a story written already in a PDF or text format, you could have just uploaded that file as well. And we have the first character that the AI was just generating, as you saw. It says, one male unemployed named Alex, fair skin color, short haircut, brown hair, uh, blue eyes, wearing blue t-shirt, wearing cocky shorts. It says, here is the prompt extracted according to your story. And we have our character named Alex completely generated from scratch. And this is amazing to me because personally, if I was to generate a comic strip, I would need to have artistic skills to generate the characters and then keep consistent characters across the whole comic strip. But with Comic AI, that is all done for you already. Of course, if I want to change the character, I can just edit this prompt. So instead of saying fair skin color, I'm going to change it to dark skin color and then click regenerate. All right, so I have the same character now with a darker skin tone with blue eyes and blue t-shirt. Now I tried a bunch of different generations and we have this history button right here, which you click, you can see all the characters which you tried out. This is the first one. These are two other ones which I tried and this is the final one that I'm gonna go with. 
It also generated the second character called Sarah, one female student named Sarah, tan skin color, long haircut, blonde hair color. And I'm happy with how Sarah looks, so I'm going to proceed with that. Now, after looking at these characters, if you think there's a third character which might be needed, all you do is to click this button called Add Character, and we have a new panel where you can provide a new prompt and a new character name. Let me call this character Demetrius, and this will be the tour guide of Alex and Sarah in Greece. So I'm going to say Demetrius is an older Greek gentleman who is a native from Greece, right? This person does not look that old to me. So I'm going to add some more information to my prompt with gray hair. Click generate. Okay, it appears that even though you might have gray hair in the anime world, your skin is still flawless and you look young. So I'm going to continue with that and click next. All right, now that we have our characters ready, we have reached the place where we generate the actual comic book. All right, now that my characters are ready, Comic AI has split the story into multiple panels according to what it thinks is necessary. And here I see a bunch of panels all the way up to panel 17 so we have 17 different pages of this comic book which is pretty advanced but you do need to generate every single panel to see if it fits your needs and since i'm using the story mode and had provided my story already it has pre-populated each of these panels with some prompts and now all i'm going to do is to click generate now we have a generation of a Greek island and you might be wondering why Alex is not in the picture. That's because you need to select every single character that you want to be in this specific panel. And so I'm going to select Alex. And now you also have a bunch of action references here to work with. So if you want Alex to look like this, maybe sitting on an island, you click that setting and then click regenerate. And just like that, we have Alex in a Greek island, but now sitting in the position marked according to the action reference. Now, you can already see how much control we have on the individual panels of this comic strip. You can also add your own real-life photos to get a brand new action reference and then add it using this plus button right here. All right, let's look at the next panel. It says Sarah grinning excitement treasure maps ruins. So I'm going to select Sarah right here and click this action reference where it looks like she might be dancing and then click generate. Right, we have Sarah dancing around in this Greek island. She seems to have two sunglasses. That's because this is AI and that can sometimes happen. Or maybe this is Greece and it's really hot. So you might need two sunglasses. But I'm going to just regenerate this again to get a better image. All right, my image image just improved and now I have only one pair of sunglasses. Let's look at the next panel and let me add the third character that I developed. Here it says tourists exploring curiosity treasure map ruins. Now here I'm going to add Demetrius to the panel because Demetrius is a tour guide and he was probably working around with tourists when he met Alex and Sarah. So I'm going to use this action reference where Demetrius might be explaining something to tourists and click generate. All right, it looks like Demetrius, who is a tour guide, explaining something about the ruins behind him to some tourists. Now, as you saw before, there were over 15 panels that were generated using my original story. Now, if you want to delete any of these panels or shorten it, you can just click this button right here called delete and that panel will go away. And also, if you want to add a new panel, you can click this button called Add Panel. And here you can select the character again with some new prompts that you write yourself and then have the generation done right here. Now, this is the final panel. So I'm going to say Demetrius is happy and dancing. And you might be wondering, why is Demetrius happy? Because the comic book idea I had comes with a plot twist. Here, Demetrius is kind of like a villain character. And while Alex and Sarah discover the actual treasure, Demetrius eventually steals it from them. Sorry for the spoilers, but that is what I'm going with. So I'm going to go with this action reference right here, where it looks like Demetrius is trying to run away and click generate. All right, this does look like a villainous character who is happy that he stole some treasure that Alex and Sarah discovered. All right, even though I generated only four panels for my comic strip, I can actually come back and edit my other panels later. So for now, I'm going to delete all the panels that I'm not finishing right now.
All right, I only have four panels that I just generated and I'm going to proceed with those and click next. All right, now we have reached the final stage of our comic book generation. Our characters are ready. We have a storyline to work with. And now all we need to do is to arrange all these panels together as a storybook. Now, depending on how complex your story is, you can select single frames or a four grid or a six grid. I'm just going to go with the first panel right here and click on it right there. I can also change the size of my window so I can look at this panel closely. And now if you choose, you can add some chat bubbles to that panel. I'm going to go ahead and add this one right here and move it right there. And now I have some dialogue to work with. Now here I can add a font box and either type out some of the text myself. But remember, I use ChatGPT. So I'm going to take this piece of text right there where Alex is talking to Sarah and go back and paste it right there. It says, Sarah, can you believe we're finally here? This island is full of history and mystery. And now we can arrange that chat bubble right here. I can also increase the size a little bit and make it look nice. All right, my first panel is now done. I'm gonna go and add the second one right here. And I'm gonna add another chat bubble right here. And this time it says, Sarah, grinning, I know, right? Let's see what secrets we can uncover. I'm gonna copy that piece of dialogue right there, add a font box right there, and then paste it right there. All right, now we have our first two panels ready to go. Now I'm gonna add the third and the fourth panels. I'm gonna add a small bubble right there. Let's say, welcome to Greece. All right, I'm going to skip the final panel because that's the end of the story. This is just the first episode of this comic strip. And I can arrange these strips right here according to what I need. Move them right around here. All right, the first episode of my comic book is now ready to go. Where Alex and Sarah just arrive in Greece and they just meet Dimitris, who is their tour guide. Now that's pretty much it on generating a simple comic strip using the comic AI story mode. I'm going to click next. We have our first comic strip ready to go. I can just click download right here. All right, now we have our first comic strip generated with comic AI just like that. All right, that is just the first way of generating a comic book. The second way is called free creativity mode, where you can actually build the story as you go. And you can actually visualize the character using an AI chatbot, which is really cool. I'm gonna call this Adventures in Greece, and I'm gonna call the creator the same. Click next. And now, as you saw, we did not start with a story. So comic AI has no idea what to do. You need to actually give all the information here from scratch. And here, you can provide a character name, but if you have no idea what to write, Comic AI provides an AI chatbot. So you can just click this icon right here, and it opens up this panel, which asks you a bunch of questions for you to develop the character. It says, let's work together and find a way to get you unstuck. It says, what kind of protagonist do you like to see in the story? I'm going to say flawed, but still good. It says, what kind of personality do you prefer the main character? Serious and reserved. It says, what kind of backstory would you like the main character to have? I'm going to say tragic. What kind of power or ability would you like the main character to possess? I'm going to say technological. It says, what kind of supporting characters would you like to have in your story? I'm going to say loyal allies. All right, it has now built a prompt according to our needs. It says gender male, skin fair complexion, hair dark, short and neatly styled face, strong jawline and sharp features. This is what it came up with. And now I can just use this prompt right here and I'm going to call it Alex again. And now I click generate. All right, we have a new version of Alex this time, completely generated by AI. And I did not even add any story or details. Now, if you want to add more characters, you can click this button right here called add character. But I'm going to proceed right now to show the other features of the free creativity mode. I'm going to click next. 
And now it says select a character and then it asks me to provide a prompt to add to the first panel. But again, since I don't have a story, I don't know what to do. Again, we have our AI helper right here who says, no idea what to write, let me help you out. So I'm gonna say, yes, please help me out. Now it says complete the current panel or generate the next panel. I'm gonna say complete the current one. It asks, what genre of anime or manga do you prefer? I'm gonna say action adventure. It says, what kind of atmosphere do you want the story to have? I'm gonna say romantic because Alex and Sarah are doing a romantic trip together in my comic book. What style of art do you prefer? I'm gonna say western comic. It says, what type of setting do you find most interesting? I'm gonna say historical period. All right, now I have a new prompt to add to my first panel. It says in the action-packed Wild West, the courageous gunslinger Jasper embarks on a love-fueled quest to win the heart of a captivating Annabelle. So of course, it doesn't know any context on my last generation, so it does not know that I want the story to be in Greece, nor does it know that Alex's girlfriend is Sarah, not Annabelle. So I'm going to copy this right here using this button and make some edits. So I'm going to see in the action-packed city of Athens, a courageous gunslinger named Alex embarks on a love-fueled quest to win the heart of a captivating Sarah. As danger loomed, their emotional bonds grow stronger, forging an extraordinary love story. And let's assume in this specific comic strip, we have a different version of the story, where instead of going to a Greek island, we're going to a dangerous part of Athens. And I have this first panel ready to go for that story. So I'm going to select Alex. I'm going to skip the action reference and click generate. All right, we have Alex looking really mysterious in the city of Athens in the background. Now, if you don't like any of these generation, you can just click regenerate where it's going to generate the story again. But for me, I'm happy with the current progression of this panel. I can, of course, add more panels to add to the story. But I just want to show you the power of this AI tool on how it can help you out generating characters and storylines completely using just a chatbot. I'm going to keep the prompt and the panel the same and now you see the rest of the generation is similar to the story mode where you can add my panels, my templates, my dialog boxes and my chat bubbles. Now if you want to save a current version of a comic book you can just go to this panel right here and click edit where you can continue on where you left off. But I wanted to show you a final way of generating comic books using comic AI called create derivatives. Here instead of generating characters from scratch you actually have a bunch of characters already in place that you can work with and you have a bunch of male characters and also some female characters so I'm gonna go ahead and select two characters with red hair I'm gonna select the first one right there and the second one gonna be a female character let's find this one both of them have red hair, right? I have two characters selected. So basically the derivative mode of comic AI allows us to derive inspiration from existing characters. I'm gonna click next. And now if I select a character, it gets added to my prompt. So this character that I selected is called Deluck and the other one is called Nilo. And I'm gonna choose the action reference as this one and click generate. All right, we have Nilo meeting her friend in an alley in Greece, and this generation is really good. I'm gonna click next. And now just like the other ones, add a chat bubble, and then add my font box like before. All right, that's pretty much all the main functionalities that I wanted to show from Comic AI. I hope you got some value from this video. And if you did enjoy it, as Nilo says in Greece, make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, thank you so much.